guys, it's Evie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a pre-holiday haul. So thanks Sandra for the name. I wrote the stuff down so I wouldn't forget, but I feel like there is still a few more things I've forgotten about. This is basically everything that I've got to get ready for my holiday. I'm probably gonna get maybe more things before I go. It's Saturday, so I'm going on Wednesday. I went shopping the other day and got a few things. I've also been doing tons of online shopping. So I thought I'd just bring together everything and show you guys because hauls are really requested. Most of it is actually clothes. Um, I haven't got any makeup this time around and then I've got some like skincare bits, traveling, cosmetic bits. I'm not really sure what you call them. But yeah, I'm gonna get straight on with the video. I really, really do hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to give it a massive thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I have is this top. I'm wearing three of the things, so I'm just gonna like show you as we go. This is a top from H&M. I have been doing like so much online shopping, so I really needed tops and stuff, but I literally had no money. So I got this for £3 on sale, which is amazing. I mean, I haven't actually got the exact same one, so twinning. This is the most comfortable top. I might wear this to the airport or when we travel. This is the top. It's just a really simple grey top. It has a little pocket. It's a bit long for me. It's size medium um, and it's a bit big. So I knot it down here from wearing like shorts and I think it looks really, really good actually. It's kind of just like a carefree, cute outfit and I absolutely love it. It's such a comfortable top. So this is from H&M. Like I said, did I say? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give you all the prices of everything and obviously where it's from so you guys know exactly where everything is from because I know that's what some people like in hauls. This is the top and then the second thing that I'm wearing is this necklace. I got this from Depop for 380 from this seller. It's kind of already rusting. I've only had like four days, which is a little bit kind of weird, but you know what? Next is rust. I haven't been wearing it in the bath or anything. I always take it off, but like, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's my fault. It's got a little elephant on it and an elephant is meant to be like a charm of good luck. I know it's a bit cheesy, but like I'm all for that. So, you know, I thought I'd get some luck out of this little elephant and I love elephants. So it's just like a little gold necklace and I've been loving necklaces recently. So I've got that. And then the third thing, which is from Primark, and this, these were a pound and there was five. I'm only wearing three right now, but they are these rings, which again are rusting. And I don't know why every piece of jewelry I touch starts rusting, but anyway. So these are gold ones. There is this one right here. And then this one, there's also one with a bigger little circle and then just a plain gold one. Like I said, they're kind of rusting already, which is kind of annoying, but I think they look cute. Um, they're a bit big for me. They're size large because I don't like rings when they're really, really tight, but they're a little bit big. But I just kind of push them right there so that they're not just like falling off. But yeah, so they're the rings, as you can see really cheap all of this stuff which is really really good for me okay, so next up is some more like traveling i guess necessities so i found out that we're actually staying at my uncle's um for i don't know how long we are like staying there but i don't really know what the plan is but we are staying there so they will have like shampoo and conditioner but um i got these anyway just in case they were doing i think three for two and will coast for these so i think it came to like 450 which is really good so i got a little tub here of baby powder which actually has like quite a lot considering it's like a mini size but i thought i'd get this because i know on beach if we go to beach, I'm j I don't really know what we're doing, but you know, um, it can take us sand easily. And also, is it what's what's that thing called in between your thighs where they like rub together and you get like a rash there? I sometimes get that, so I just thought I would bring this with me. But yeah, so I got that, and then I also got a conditioner. This is Pantene Smooth and Sleek conditioner because I feel like I like I'm used to just wearing um what. I used to wear just shampoo on my hair. Like I used to just put in shampoo. Um, but my hair gets really knotty. So I thought I'd just buy a conditioner to go with. My mum bought baby shampoo. It smells nice. Not sure if it's going to work the same as a normal shampoo. But yeah. And then the third thing I got... I thought I'd get a travel deodorant because I have deodorants, but a lot of them are glass, so I don't really want to bring around a glass deodorant. It's just extra luggage weight. So I got this Dove Invisible Dry Moisturizing Cream 48 hours. That was a long time. Clean touch anti-perspirant so it's got no alcohol i don't like to use one with alcohol in it because i know it's not very good for your armpits this is what it looks like we love a bit of dove that's the deodorant so next up are some more jewelry bits because i love jewelry and like this was like two pound on depop so these are the cutest little silver earrings this is like in how big they are in comparison to my hand and i don't really have any that are this thin i really wanted like some thinner hoops and these have like little pom-poms on which i think are honestly the cutest thing they're little white pom-poms and i just think they look so cute and i honestly can't wait to wear them so yeah the way you put it on is actually quite weird but like it helps secure them since a few of these things from depop if you do want to know the sellers then do let me know down below i believe this seller I bought off of does like multiple ones of these so i think she makes them herself if you want the username just let me know um down below and i'll get that up for you but yeah they're the earrings that i got 
absolutely love them. Okay, so next up I have this Nair hair remover wax strips. I wanted some wax strips because I wanted to wax my legs when I went away because I feel like if I shave they'll grow back in like one second. So I haven't used these yet on my legs really. I think I used a tiny bit on my leg. But then I've done it on my armpit. It was painful, but like that kind of worked. I'm not very good at doing it. But you get 20 wax strips. I've used two already and Helen's taken two, so... Uh, we have like 16 left and then I haven't used the wipes yet like the post and pre wipe Why are they both post? Okay guys, so they're both actually post wipes. Thanks guys. Oh, okay. There's no before wipe. Oh, I thought it was before wipe. Okay. Yeah, just thought I'd get some wax strips and these were cheap from Superdrug. So I got those. Now moving on to all the little clothing items stuff that I have. I'm going to go ahead and get straight on with it. So first of all, these are little things that Helena gave me because they don't fit her anymore. And I was actually going to buy some denim skirts anyway. These are kind of like denim skirts, but they're not buttony. They're like a lot more comfortable. And I thought these would, look, these would look weird because of that, but honestly, they actually look really nice. So they're from Primark and they're like elasticated to waist as well which is really good these are both size eights and they are like just denim skirts basically they don't have any rips or anything they don't have a button they're just kind of pull up ones which is why i probably i thought it would look a bit weird on me but it looks really really nice actually and i really wanted some denim skirts for holiday so there's a blue one here it's like a dark denim blue how much were these three or four pounds i think they might be on the primer and then also my favorite one i think is this black one i really wanted a black denim skirt um but i didn't think i could afford one because they were like 20 quid but so she just gave me this one and again it doesn't have the button or anything it's just an elasticated one it's really really nice actually it kind of shows off a bit of my like stomach because it's quite tight but we're just gonna ignore that you know it's all good body confidence here so they are the two denim skirts that i got and then i got this top from h&m when it came it's kind of see-through and it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be like the straps area bearing in mind that my boobs aren't that small to be honest so I thought it would be okay but it's basically this button up vest top I really really wanted one of these I also thought it would be a lot shorter it's quite long it's just kind of like a normal vest and it's really really see-through like I don't know if you can see my hand through that it's just like kind of see-through it's not that bad I'm probably still gonna wear it just because like it's nice but yeah no this is a really nice just plain white vest top with the button so I just thought I would go ahead and buy this you can also undo the buttons like they're not all the ones you can't undo so you can have those but yeah this was 4.49 I think I pretended it was my birth on the H&M website so I got money off this because I'm a bit of a cheapskate so that was those so next up I have a t-shirt dress now I am not too sure if this actually suits me I wore this the other day I don't know why I was feeling really self-conscious in it just because I really don't know if it suits me because I don't really wear dresses very often but I thought I'd take this to France with me just because if we go out for dinner or something it'd be a nice little like dressy thing to wear so it is from Forever 21 but I got this again off Depot for I think it was about a tenner and it's basically got these like really really nice flower like roses type things i think that's really really cute it has a zip back and it's not too long i'd say it's like halfway down my thigh which is a good length for me and it is a size small us UK is small as well. The only thing that I'm not too keen on this, apart from the fact that I don't know if it suits me, the armpit area literally just covers like your armpit completely and I prefer it when it doesn't do that when you have a bit of space like this top because obviously if I sweat it's probably going to be really hot so I guess if I'm wearing this later in the day though it should be okay but this is really nice, the material is quite nice, it's not too thick so I can wear it for hot weather as well but yeah. Okay so next up I got a pair of striped shorts and I got these from H&M again three pound I got it when I got this top and they actually go really nicely together basically this is an extra small and I'm usually a small because I think my waist size is about 27 28 elasticated should be like 26 maybe this is an extra small and this was the only like pair of these left there were a red pair as well but they did not suit me at all and I was just like you know what I don't know so I tried it on and it actually fit me quite well because it's elasticated so it's good but I'd say it should probably come out a bit looser on people but on, obviously on me it's going to come out a little bit tighter just because it's not my size but to be honest I loved these too much not to get them three pounds is such a good price the material is amazing it's just like really flowy and even though they're not my size they're not like tight or anything they're quite short but then they have like that it's like loose so you can like your legs your legs can breathe in them I love these I can't wait to wear these on holiday I actually kind of obsessed with them like they're really comfortable as well again even though they're not my size so thanks H&M for making them a bit bigger for me yeah 
So I've got a pair of these. Okay, so next up I have two more clothing-ish pieces and then I have some shoes which I completely forgot about so we're gonna go through them in a minute. First of all, I have a bikini which I'm really excited for. Basically, the only bikinis I had were too small for me because my boobs have grown like quite a lot in the last year for some reason. So that's what's going on with that and I feel like I wanted a like fresh bikini that actually kind of fit and I like bikinis that cover up a bit more just because I'm kind of self-conscious so obviously I don't really want to wear a swimming costume because I feel like it will show my stomach because it's tight but then I feel like a bikini it's less like visible well it's always it's visible but do you know what I mean like the focus is on the bikini so um I got from Primark because obviously Primark has the best bikinis and they're really good price because I'm cheap um so I got this bikini top and then I also got the matching pants I never really get the matching pants I usually just wear plain ones but I was like you know what I'm gonna treat myself and get both this year I don't actually know if we will be swimming when we're there or like going to the beach or anything but I thought I'd just get these just in case because if we do go that's gonna be really upsetting if I you know don't have a bikini or anything because I don't really have any that fit me so I thought I'd get one it's the most gorgeous royal blue color it's like a halter neck which I love this is a size 10 because of like my boob size but size 8 I tried on but it was like, kind of like short here so this one covers a bit more which I prefer and it's quite supportive as well it has this bit in the middle which I thought would be too big on a size 10 for me but it's fine I absolutely love this it's also got the little tie that you tie around your back i think it's so cute and i love the colors so much so the top was six pounds which is so good and then the pants are these ones and the like hygiene protection thing is still on because i haven't like worn these yet i still haven't taken off the like things yet but again the most gorgeous royal blue color i absolutely love it it's got like these little ties aside again it's a size 10 i feel like it's a little bit big for me but then again it's like it's nice to have a bit of space this obviously i'm not used to it because i don't wear bikinis that often but obviously it doesn't like cover as much as pants do so i was feeling a little bit like self-conscious because i did try these on in the changing room and i was just a bit like because it doesn't cover as much but obviously it's a bikini um i'm not sure the style of pants these are but i really really like them though you know it's all good it's what a bikini event to do the pants were, I think they were four pounds. Let's check. Four pounds. So it all came to ten pounds, which is such a good price, honestly, for a bikini. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna treat myself. I think it's so cute for summer. I cannot wait to wear these. So I know I've been going on about this bikini a lot, but I really do love it, and I never really buy bikinis. So I thought I'd just take this with me, just in case we go swimming, or just use it for another time. And yeah, so love these. Prime up, best place to get bikinis. Okay, so next up, I've got something that was like completely out of my comfort zone i've been trying to like wear different things because i feel like i always wear the same things i don't really wear leggings or anything anymore like obviously i wouldn't really right now it's like a million degrees but i've been trying to wear different things because i want to kind of get out of my comfort zone so i bought this and it is a really really nice frilled skirt. i've seen these everywhere like i feel like it's like a trend right now i love them i got these from depop it says on here it's from vera and lucy don't know what that is i know they do them in zara though um i think this was about eight pound on depop i was gonna get brand new ones from like zara or something but they're like 25 quid and i was like to be honest i bought all of this stuff and it like all of this did come to quite a lot of money so i didn't want to like spend 25 quid when i could get them for cheaper so it is the most gorgeous like red color it's like a bright red i'm not sure if they suit me i feel like because they're quite frilly on me personally because i don't really wear anything like that i don't know if i look a bit stupid but i really really like them and it's really comfy and obviously airy so good for hot weather so i'm going to take this with me i kind of need to find a top that will go with it but i do really really like it this is just what it looks like really really pretty it's quite short but it's score it's like a score as well so it will like have the shorts underneath so you don't like flash everyone um yes yeah, so these are really really nice they go really well with like a white top so can't wait to wear these um again if you want to know the sellers or anything let me know down below and i'll give you their names so next up i have two pairs of shoes no three pairs four four pairs of shoes all these apart from one pair which i will get to my mum bought for me um for holiday and they're all really really cheap they're all from primark actually so the first thing my mum bought me some shoes for the airport because i have vans my superstars got eaten by fox so no, i've had to a bit moth eaten i didn't really want to lose them because they're literally the only pair of good shoes i have now because the fox is like my shoes she bought me some for the airport just some plain ones just so i can wear for traveling i'm not really gonna probably wear these on holiday just because obviously it's gonna be hot so i'm probably just gonna wear like the more airy shoes but they are just these plain shoes i'm not sure what they're called hen said they're called tenors mate tennis shoes ten, maybe, ten, maybe. tennis shoes don't quote but they are like similar to converse in the way that they're like type like that and like my vans as well they type they're just tie up shoes um and they're just like flat shoes really i was gonna like she's my mom's like oh, i'll get these like colored trainers but i kind of just wanted a plain color just so it goes with everything it's got a scuff mark which really irritated me like right there but like i'll get over it but yeah these are just white shoes as you can see they're a bit like textured on the side i think these are about a tenner and they're just plain white really and yeah so thanks mom for these 
and hopefully they'll be really comfortable to just wear when traveling at the airport so i got those the way my size is a six so all of these i'm pretty sure are a size six but moving on to flip-flops which are size five to six i got a pair for indoor and outdoor because our family hoards flip-flops we love flip-flops i don't know what it is but we love flip-flops so but i got a pair and I obviously i had to get my favorite color and then just plain one um outside i don't know which one i should use for outside and inside but i have these hot pink ones like hot pink purple they're really nice size five to six just for indoor or outdoor which i haven't decided i don't know and then i've got the just a plain pair of white ones i was originally gonna wear these ones outdoors but then i was like they're gonna get really dirty easily so i thought i'd wear these for a bit of pop color and then wear these for plain indoor yeah these two they're like 90p each primark do flip-flops for so cheap love them so we always get these for holiday just because we may as well like get some new ones because they're really cheap um, and leave our other ones at home so i've got some flip-flops okay so next up i got a pair of sliders which i've been wanting sliders for the longest time but i can never find any but for some reason they're right in my face in primark and i've never seen them so these were the most like neutral ones i saw the other ones like have the fluffy bits all over them but i was like you know what it's gonna be hot i'm just gonna get get some more plain ones but these say awesome i couldn't really tell what they were saying i thought it was saying homely or something i didn't, didn't really get it i don't really think anyone's going to read it as you're walking down the street um it says if you line it up it says awesome yeah they're just plain black um sliders they they're really thick so hopefully they'll last a while i thought i'd just wear this for like outdoor just basically on like an everyday basis i'm not sure like what shoes i'm wearing yet but i thought these would be good just for an everyday basis because they're really really comfortable so happy got a pair of sliders these were about five pound i think which is really really good i think they're on sale but yeah so that is the last pair of shoes and also the last thing in this haul but i love these so much so so that is everything I got for my pre preparing for my holiday. I know there's quite a few things there. Um, I want to get through everything. So I don't know how long this is going to be. But I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you watched till this point, then comment down below. France. Um, and yeah, I love you all so much. I hope to see you soon. I'll see you next Friday. But yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you soon. So down there you can click to watch my last video and to subscribe to my channel and then down there are my social medias so you should definitely make sure to check those out too.